Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing. And in today's video, I wanna show you how you can add new pages in your website inside of Wix Studio and how you can also add those pages to your menu. So this is my Wix Studio website here. And over on the left-hand side, I have the pages panel. And this is where I can add new pages to my Wix Studio website. So I have two options here. I can click the add new page at the bottom and if I click this, I get the option of a standard page or a dynamic page. I can also click the top right here and do a standard or dynamic page. So I'm just going to click a standard blank page. And now I have my new page created. I'm just going to name it test. And then this is my, my new page that I just barely barely created. So one thing to look for when you create a new page, and this is something that you always want to check no matter how many pages you've created inside of Wix or Wix Studio, is you want to click these three dots, click on SEO basics, and you want to look at this URL slug here. Because 95% of the time Wix is going to put something like blank, or if you duplicate another page, it'll put copy of the page that you duplicate, duplicated. So you always want to check this and then change it to the actual name of the page or whatever you want the URL slug to be. So in this case, it's going to be test. And the last thing you want is the page URL to come up as blank or copy of about page or something like that. So you always wanna check the SEO basics when you create a new page. And then once you have that uh, done, you can go in and edit your page. So you can add a section here like a wireframe I'm just going to add one real quick so that I have some content on this page, but that's how you create your new page. Now, as far as getting it in the page menu, you'll notice that when I created that test page, it didn't come into the menu by default. Even though it shows up over here on under the main pages, it's not showing up in my menu. So I need to click the manage menu here in order for me to get this page to show up. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then I go to add item. And when I click add item, I have a few options like main pages, link and drop down. So this would just be a main page. Link and drop down might be, if you have a third party website, you might want to use link. A drop down just a placeholder so that you can have uh, sub pages underneath it. So I'm just going to go to my main pages. And as soon as I click this, then I can select the test page and click apply and now it's in my menu. And then once it's in my menu, I have a few options. I can move it under home as a secondary page, as a sub page. I can also move it back out of home. I can uh, rename it. I can change the link. I can remove from menu. So I have some options here. I can duplicate it. Um, most of the time, you'll just have it be added as a page here or a sub page. And you can also click and drag if you want it to be a sub page. So that's how you can add the page to your menu. And if you have multiple pages to add, you can add them all at one time. So for example, if I have test two here and test three, and then we'll go to test four, then I can add all of these to my menu at one time by clicking the add item and then main pages. And then I can just click and add all of these pages here. And once I click apply, then they're going to add all at one time. It looks like this one got added twice. So I can just delete this one here and then I'm good to go. So that's how you create new pages inside of Wix Studio. It's just over here on the left hand side. And then you can click this plus button or add new page down here. And then you always want to check the SEO basics for this right here, the URL slug. It's going to default to blank, so you want to change it to whatever the page should be. And then if you want to add it to your menu, you just click on the menu element inside of your Wix Studio website. You click on Manage Menu, and then you can add the item here through the main pages, and then you should be good to go. So I hope you found this video helpful, and I will see you in the next video.